thank you for joining me for your Monday Daily 5 workout. We're going to start seated with the feet hip distance apart, seated nice and tall, lifting up out of the waist, stacking the spine and trying to line the shoulders up over your hips. Hands will come behind the legs and we will inhale to start to round back just until you feel the stomach engage. So the hands are here for support, but you're using them as little as needed. And you'll exhale, assist yourself back up, coming nice and tall, zip up through the belly, gazing straight ahead. So I want you to feel the stomach begin to wake up and turn on. You're looking down towards the belly and then as you lift, looking straight out in front. But I want this to be really comfortable, really controlled, so that the face and the upper body remain soft and of course the back stays comfortable. So this might be a really small movement, it might be a medium sized movement, but remember we're just warming up, so go easy on yourself. We're gonna inhale to come back, exhale curling up, stack and lift each time, use your breath. Get the weight even on top of the sit bones. And last time, please, inhaling back. Stay soft through the jaws and through the neck. And we'll come up, stack nice and tall. We're gonna go right into the saw. We'll take the legs wider than the distance of your exercise mat. The legs are going to come out straight in front of you. And again, I want you to line up so that you have the shoulders right over the hip joints. If you're not able to do that, if you look more like this, then I want you to go ahead and bend the knees or get some blankets or a pillow to put underneath your bottom, okay? So you can raise your hips up. Um, it's okay if you don't have the back and the legs straight, but it's not okay if the back's not straight. The back has to be straight. So we take our sit bones nice and even. If you have your legs out long, I want you to go ahead and pull the toes back towards you and then relax at just the toe joints. So this is edging the feet. It's as if they were flat against a wall in front of you. Then. Staying lifted, the arms will come to the sides of the room. So they're energized like you're trying to reach the sides of the room, and this should be a lot of work right here. So I'm gonna turn and face you. You can stay just as you are. So we're stacked up and we have the arms reaching to either side of the room. You'll take your inhale here, and as you exhale, you're going to twist and take your baby pinky and try to saw off your baby toe. That's why it's called the saw. This back arm stays active, so you stretch and reach through the shoulder blade and through the armpit. You inhale back tall and center, tiny, tiny waist here, and exhale, reach and stretch. It's okay if your finger does not reach your toe. That doesn't matter. You just take it in that direction until you get a stretch. We are also pulling here through the obliques. Draw the belly nice and tight and use the obliques to lift and stack you back up. Inhale front and center. Exhale, stretch and reach. We're going to try four more of these. Inhale, keep reaching long through the arms. Take care that you're not shifting through the pelvis and legs as you do this. So the lower half of you is cemented into the ground and we make this movement come through the sides, through the waistline, reaching the hands far away from one another. We have one more in each direction. Exhale, stretch and reach. Inhale, nice and tall, and exhale, stretch and reach. We're going to finish by coming tall to the center. Hold it, hold it. We're going to glue the legs together. Keep the feet edged. Again, it's okay if the knees are a little bit soft here. Keep reaching the arms out and we're going into spine twist. So you will inhale here and as you exhale, twist to the right. Your legs are going to want to slide around. Don't let them, keep them glued together. Use the inner thighs, activate the quadriceps along the tops of the thighs. Exhale to twist. Inhale front and center, lots of side work. Exhale, twist, keep drawing that navel into the spine, using your gaze to get you a little bit further around each repetition. Exhale to twist. Four more, please. Stay lifting up out through the crown of the head. Keep reaching out through those fingertips. And with each exhale, it's like you're trying to get every last little molecule of air out of your body. Really twist and just wring out the body of all the air. 
Inhale and exhale. Back, front, tall, and center, and just pause here, hold it. Stay lifted, stack the back up against an imaginary wall. Relax the arms down, keep that posture. Good job. Okay, we're going to lie down now onto our side. We're coming into clamshells. So for clamshells, you have the option to lay all the way down on your arm. You can prop up onto your hand. You can even grab a little cushion or a bolster and just rest the head down. As long as the neck stays in line with your spine, that's fine. Just get comfortable. So we're going to take the knees and slide them in really close to the chest. So I would like for them to come past that 90 degree line if you're able to do that. If not, then bring them in as tightly as you can. We will keep the hips stacked directly one on top of the other. They're not allowed to shift or move. We're going to draw the belly in, and then this front hand is going to rest onto the ground just comfortably for a little bit of support. We'll keep the shoulder drawing down. As you breathe out, this top knee is going to lift and open. You should feel this in that top cheek. Just hesitate at the top, and then lower down with control as you breathe in. So we exhale to lift up. Again, this top hip will not rock back. It's going to stay put inhale in and draw the belly in and keep going with the breath exhale up so again we don't want to hold the breath but there's just this slight hesitation at the top here at your end range before you would roll that hip so you can really feel that you should feel that top cheek warming up exhale start to lift up inhale to lower down we have five more clamshells with the breath exhale press it open inhale in you're staying light underneath this hand perhaps you don't even need it that's um, our eventual goal and inhale down last three times exhaling up inhale soften down with control exhale up working our external rotators here and in a moment we will stretch those muscles which will feel really good Exhale up, inhale down. Okay, take this hand and just press yourself up. We're going to come to a seated stacked knees stretch. So the leg that was just lifting is the leg that's going to go on top. You're going to try to stack your knees and walk your feet out away from you. Okay, so this doesn't always look very pretty in the beginning. Sometimes we've got uh, hips stuck up in the air, we've got knees open, that's fine. If you need support, then grab some blankets, grab another exercise mat or a pillow. You can get yourself supported. In time, you want the sit bones to come down evenly. You're gonna have the knees stacked, and then you can, you can sit up nice and tall if you have a good stretch here, or you can start to come forward either by holding the feet or you can take the hands out in front. You'll come forward with a long spine until you get a good stretch, and if you'd like to at that point, then you can start to round over and just fold into a stretch. If you walk the feet out away from you, it often deepens the stretch. We wanna take care that they're not tucked underneath the tush. And then let's round and roll up, nice and tall, and we'll come into clamshells on the other side. So we're gonna lay down. Again, you have options for the upper body, just whatever feels comfortable for you. And we'll draw the knees in close to the chest. Just stack them in, let that top hip be stacked. Arm relaxed in front, and we will exhale to lift the knee, keeping the hips stacked one right on top of the other, and inhale to lower down. Exhale, pressing open. A little bit of a pause, so it's nice and slow. It's almost as if you're moving underwater. You're in deep water, and you just have some resistance no matter which direction you're moving. So you're creating that control, and that is part of how we're building strength. Joseph Pilates believed that our minds should control all of our movements. So we think before we move, and we move in a very conscious manner. Exhale, press it up and open. Everything has a purpose. Exhale, press it up. And we've got one more. We're going to press up, just pause slightly at the top. Lower down and we will press back up. You can use your hand to help press you up and you will stack that knee on top. We're going to stretch, you can open the feet away. I like to hold my feet. You might want to have your hands in your lap or your hands out in front. 
Whatever feels most natural for you is perfectly fine. Just come until you get a stretch. Again, you don't ever want to stretch to a point of pain. It should all be comfortable. Even if it's intense, it should still be comfortable. a couple of breaths here keep drawing the tummy up and in to support you and then we'll roll and stack back up through the spine and we're going to come into plank so our push-up position with our heels together and a small V so the shoulders come directly over the wrists. we're going to lift the knees connect the heels let the balls of the feet be separated and there's no sinking and sagging. That hurts to even demonstrate. You want to pull up through the tummy and just make this nice long line. We're going to reach back through the heels. If this is a lot of work for you, stay like this. If it's too much work, come down to your knees and hold the knee down plank. If you're in your full plank and you are perfectly fine, I want you to keep the hips square and begin to lift one leg up and just hover it. And lower down and switch and lower down one more each way. Lift this from the glute, keep that turn out and keep the hips squared off, tummy drawn up and in, softness through the elbow joints and a soft neck. Relax down, lower the knees to the ground. We're going to bend the elbows narrow to the body until you come all the way down to the ground. And then just position so that you fill up your mat. We're going to let the legs open to the distance of the hips or slightly wider and keep a turnout. And the arms are going to come back at your sides here. So let's let the, the palms of the hands face into the body. So a nice tight tummy. On an inhale, you're going to reach long out through the body and begin to float up. Just let the hands rest at the sides. Exhale, melt back down. Inhale, draw that belly in, keep the legs grounded and lift from the upper and mid back. No pain in the low back, please. Exhale, back down. Inhale. Please don't crank the neck and look up at the sky. Just look gently out in front of you. It should be a very natural long curve here. Inhale, lifting up. It's almost like the breastbone is lifting to the ceiling rather than the head. And we have one more. Inhale, floating up. Exhale, melt it down. Oh, and relax. We're going to press up. And you did it. Good job. I will see you in tomorrow's workout. Thank you for joining me. And if you have any questions about any of the exercises we did today, or throughout the week, feel free to shoot me an email at Amanda's Corner, C-O-R-E-N-E-R, -E -E at charter.net. Thanks. Bye.